Hey guys, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, my, it feels weird. My, all of my boys and girl left me. Um, Oscar left me for food. What's new? Uh, Juno is sleeping. Juno, Juno, Juno. Nothing. Maybe towards the end of the video. And because I'm doing this for one hour, I can't have the boys here for one hour with her because it's too long for them to, to keep unsupervised. She is fearless. She is going at them, jumping and playing and being like... Oh, especially with Felix's um, tail. She loves his tail. She thinks it's a toy. Oscar's tail too at times, but... Um, Felix's tail is more... Uh, huh? She loves it. Anyway, so no, none of them, just me today. Um, what do I want to see? Anything? Oh my god, I've been having the craziest dreams this week. I've been busy in Dreamland, very busy, very very busy, and I don't remember much of them because I'm woken pretty sudden a lot of the times because of. The new member of the household, which she's not noisy. She's she's the gentlest little fluff ball ever. But Kai is. Kai is noisy, and he's uh, just showing up and ba 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 all night. And that riles her up, and she starts running and she starts playing. Which which again, she's not noisy, but Kai is <laughs> because he's a talker. He's the one that wants to talk to her. So. Uh, anyways, yeah, crazy, crazy. Like, I'm just gonna give you one scenario from last night's, which was, oh, I think I'm, I'm gonna give you two, which were funny. Well, one of them was funny as hell. Um, and I've had, in that dream, I've had multiple scenarios where I've crossed and through many spaces and, anyways, one of them I was, I think, I think it was New Jersey and I was trying to uh, get out of the state and um, you know usually when I think of that in reality it's either by car by plane by train or whatever whatever ways right well no this time around it was I was kind of sitting in a line like a grocery store kind of thing and there was this clerk like well I think it I've never personally been to, through, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Border patrol and things like that, where you cross from, but it, it, it kind of felt like that, but more towards grocery store, I would say, because there was a cashier lady and she looked very nice. She was, she was, you know, she had this energy of, yeah, no problem. You know, you come here, you check out, you go. I'm like, okay. Let's go with this. Let's see. Let's see if we can exit the state of New Jersey, apparently. And uh, there were some people in front of me, you know, just like the grocery store. And um, I don't know, some lady pissed her off. Like, it, she turned up very different. She's like, you're not going anywhere. Nobody's going anywhere anymore. That's it. Closing off, you know, the crossing line. And I'm like, shit, she just got pissed off very fast. Like, that's really different very fast. I, I, I was like, this is going to go smooth. You know, the first lady is going to check out and whoever was in front of me and then me. And then that's that. I'm out. No. Somehow I got out of there. Um, I think by the time I ended up, or they switched her, maybe they switched shifts. I, I, I have not yet. But uh, somehow I got out of there. But at some point during the dream, and I don't think it was the next step. I, th I think I've been through other places before I got here. But I got into a place that um, I don't know why Arizona came to mind in terms of I was somewhere up on a cliff and I could see down below. And there were these beautiful waterfalls. And it, it kind of looked like from what I've seen in pictures that I was close to getting there probably 15 years ago, uh, Havasupai in Arizona. Um, I've never been and I don't know, I don't know, but it kind of looked like that. 
with beautiful waterfalls and cliffs and you know just beautiful and I, I, I close to that in terms of how it looked and we were in a again it was me there was somebody in front of me leading the way and then there were other people behind me and we were kind of going like this you know in a in a straight line in a row and we were coming from the mountains from inside the mountains and then we got out to this trail that led down well we stopped there and took in the the scenery and it was beautiful and i'm like man this is it kind of like this is where we were going throughout the whole freaking dream and i feel like it was a bunch of us because i kept on bringing people like in the new jersey situation maybe i brought in a couple more people like come on and they were like yeah let's go you know so we ended up like in a like a like a row on on this in this beautiful scenery and i'm like again somehow coming from the mountain and then i'm like well there's a path here going down we're going down right yeah well there's a path here and then the person leading that said no not through there <laughs> in my head it was like why because it's too easy and then we actually stepped back into the the mountain there basically and we started climbing down and it was all kind of tricky there were like roots of trees and all sorts of things in there and we're kind of climbing down on those i mean it was doable but oh my, there's a path what the hell um but i'm like okay let's do this so i don't know i don't know if we even got down there probably we did uh, cause I don't remember afterwards I woke up, but man, crazy, crazy dreams. And as I said, different realities and not only different states. I've been, I've been back home too. I've been to my grandma's house. <laughs> Apparently I've been everywhere last night and the whole week, the whole week has been intense with dreams. Interesting. Um, but that's it. That's all I have in terms of dreams my animals still not here anyways uh let's let's do this let's see why we're here um check-ins for the weekend um march already i can't believe this well it seems like it's starting to pick up like it's starting to go faster but at the same time it feels like where the hell is spring <laughs> you know um but check-ins Current energies, check-ins for the weekend. Um, I'll be going through each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Uh, it will be quick to the point. No clarification for the Friday videos. Whatever comes out, comes out. Um, even though at times I'm tempted, but no. And um, timestamps will be below in the description box and in the comment section and on the... <laughs> play thingy, play, 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 man, play bar thingy, that, that, that's it, um, because I never know how to call that, it's probably the play bar, but I like to say, it. Uh, anyways, um, I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy where, and that energy could be that of a person or a situation, so it doesn't have to be that you have to deal with someone in order to look at this reading. You can be dealing with a situation where the other energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energy is at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe. Um, that's it. Roles can be reversed. So when you see me referring to this is you, this is them, sometimes I'll say I don't know. Other times it can be reversed. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Timestamps will only work after the video finished uploading in the, like if you're watching the premiere of it on Friday morning, usually, cause I do that as a setup, just, you know, for us to hang out for a little bit, for us to wake up for me, especially, uh, in the chat room with people. It's, it's a cool scene. Uh, if you have time to come in there and check it out, we'll be there for Friday morning. But the timestamps will not work during the premiere, only after it's finished. Um, yeah, that's it. We're good to go. Earth signs, Capricorn.
Let's see, Cappy. I see something carved on my table and I didn't carve it. It's probably scratched. It looks like a P, as in Peter. Who drew this? I didn't do it. Did I? No. I don't know. Let's see, Cappy. Let's see what's up. All right, on your side, you get the uh, Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Swords. Okay. Uh, kind of wanting to do something about a situation. I see you in the place of, I'm going to do something about this, but it's not the right time. It feels like you're uh, almost dealing with the pain of it rather than kind of like, you know, because I'm in pain over whatever. I have to heal that first and then I'll proceed and do something about this. Uh, so I don't know what this is, but it looks like you're on hold. You're placing yourself on hold while knowing that eventually you'll go do something, take care of something. Um, for the energy attached to you, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Wands. Well, somebody wants love here and they're not letting this go. I feel like they want to show up. They kind of keep on showing up. Um, wanting to offer you something. There's there's a sense of curiosity that's being kept up here on their side. I don't know what this is. And the connected energies, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. There's a sense of disappointment here over the stability of something. It could be in regards um, you and this energy. Maybe you can't keep it together long enough or something there's definitely a sense of this is not going you know where it needs to go for this to become stable kind of thing and i feel like there's communication here about it maybe you're talking about it with someone or maybe you're even talking to one another about it because it does feel like from this side that it's given you this energy it feels like oh here's a candy and then that's it that's all i have to offer you know and then i'll be out and I'll come back when I have another candy kind of thing. I don't know. It doesn't feel like there's something committed here. I don't know. Let's see the universe. Let's check out the universe here. The Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Sun. I feel like slowly but surely you're heading in a direction of quite a powerful connection here. I kind of get the sense that whatever this experience is, is kind of like a, a passage, a, a way through. Like, okay, this is part of my experience so that I can get here kind of thing. Like a missing piece to the whole puzzle that you're going to find later on. For some reason, I'm feeling like, I don't know why, it feels like what the universe has given you here has nothing to do with the current experience. It's kind of like you're through this somehow you're stepping onto that path towards something quite powerful you know ah, interesting but that's it oops All right, moving on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, so let's take a look. Let's take a quick look to see what's happening for you this weekend. Okay. On your side, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Star of the Sun. You want happiness here. And I feel like you know the direction to take to get to this happiness. I feel like, okay, happiness is right there. I'm going to go right to it. But you're not in that place of I'm going to go right to it because you're in the place of how do I get to it? 
I don't know how to get to it. What do I do about it? You know, there's definitely clarity about where this happiness lies, but there's indecision. On the energy attached to you side, they get the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords. They're open. They're open and responsive. I feel like whatever it is you throw their way, there's a sense of confidence even that's growing here attached to them. Like they're receiving this, they're responding to your energy. Because definitely if you have this going on on your side, there's definitely some energetic communication already happening between the two of you so i see them open and then i see them really almost like taking charge like oh you don't know it's okay i got it kind of thing you know so i don't know for the connected energies the page of pentacles the hangman the nine of cups man there's a whole lot of happiness here you know in this energetic communication at least um but there's stagnation. That's that's the thing. Nobody's quite doing anything yet. Someone is learning definitely from this stagnation, from this experience. But there's stagnation and then there's happiness being felt through this stagnation. It's like I'm pausing, you're pausing. Let's not screw it up with our movement and we'll just sit here because it feels so good. You know, kind of thing. Uh, let's not mess that up. Let's see what the universe has. <laughs> Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, The Hangman. Yes, somebody really wants to, to break this stagnation, but they're not quite yet. So somebody really wants to come out of this hangman where nothing's happening, nobody's moving, someone's really wanting to talk. To communicate and i don't know if that's you if that's them if that's the both of you i have no idea but man the desire is there but that's it all right moving on to virgo side you get the justice card the judgment the eight of swords trying to figure out what's best for everyone involved um kind of trying to sort out what's best for you what's best for whoever and whatever and there's there's a whole lot of things i feel like you're trying to put together so that um the energy serves everyone involved whatever that means but the way you're approaching this whole situation is from a place of stressing out about it feeling like i don't know i don't know what to do about it i don't know i don't know you know but energetically speaking you're definitely coming from a place of i'm trying to do what's right here uh on their side the eight of cups the king of cups the lovers there seems to be an emotional detachment here on their side but they definitely have a lot of love not to offer though for some reason i don't know what's happening here because i do see the pull the let me cut myself off from you emotionally but then again they're swimming in love somewhere behind that so i have no idea not willing to offer it or hmm. for the connection the page of pentacles the emperor the knight of wands There's an interference here. There's an energy that's coming from the outside. Um, mm, 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 mm. Someone's playing with an outside energy. And I don't know if it's you or them. It shows up as being them. But I don't want to point any fingers here. Like, oh, they're... Because it, it, it doesn't look like, oh, they're cheating. But it looks like almost like Virgo... 
I'm gonna take my toys because I'm not playing with you anymore and I'm gonna bring my toys on this side and you know I'll be here for a while it almost feels like a no knowing kind of thing like you know they know everybody knows so it's, it doesn't feel like oh they're cheating behind your back or something it doesn't feel like that oh, I don't know this reading is weird man and this is why I would love to clarify but I'm not and I know they're like, do it, do it, do it, do it. No. Uh, hold on. Universe is from this deck, not from that one. Uh, let's see, Virgo, what's going on here? Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Lovers. Yeah, there's something going on here. There's some energy shifting left and right here. And I feel like you're trying to keep the balance through that. Um... But there's definitely a something else coming from the outside where you can stop it, they can't stop it, nobody can stop it. It's just there. But that's why I feel like all of everybody knows what's up and that's why you're kind of falling into the place of I need to do what's right for everyone involved. Because I feel like you're aware of all of the other energies involved. And you're still in a very indecisive place here. But... I don't see a conclusion to this, just the indecision of, I don't know what to do about it. But I feel like as you're going from the Eight of Swords to the Two of Pentacles that showed up here, so that's a smoother kind of transition into at least you won't be stressed out about it anymore. Maybe you'll figure it out from there. So, I don't know. But that's it. Moving on to Fire Signs. Aries. Juno's up. Juno! grooming you know if she comes here she starts playing with my toys you know she always plays with my toys maybe she'll play with her but if she plays with hers you don't get to see her if she plays with mine there's better chances of seeing her i don't know let's see aries All right, who left here, Aries? It's looking like it's on your side. On your side, you got the Four of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, almost like you're showing up as healing a broken heart because someone left. Could be you. Could be you. Because even if we do get to leave a situation, that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt us, you know, sometimes. So... I don't know, you're showing up as healing from a broken heart because someone left at some point. Um, the energy tied up to you, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. There's an energy here that wants to offer you love and wants for things to work out. With the Eight of Wands, it could be that they even told you. Now, I don't know if you're interested or not, but... Hmm. For the connection, the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Yeah, you're showing up a little... Not 100% here. Not making up your mind about this situation. So I feel like you know. You know who this energy is here that wants to come towards you, that wants to offer you love, and you're like half-half. Like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what the universe has. Strength card, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. It could be a friendship here. It could be someone you're working with also. Because there seems to be a lot of 3D material surroundings around this connection. And it doesn't look like love necessarily. So it could be someone you know, someone you've met, someone you became friends with. I don't know. You know. But they're showing up here as being quite reliable, quite stable in your life. Or feeling that hmm, they could be that at least. But they're kind of showing up in love here. Oopsie. Oopsie. So I don't know what you want to do about that. But I feel like you're grieving something else though during this time. So I don't know. Let's see. Moving on to Leo.
Okay, on your side, you get the Eight of Swords, the Judgment card, the Temperance card. You, Leah, I feel like you're experiencing some sort of a... Um, a shift, a very long shift in your energies, a very healing one at that, but I feel like you're in a place of almost feeling stuck in there, like, oh my god, you know, I want the energies to move already, like, I've been in this place, I've healed a lot, I've done this, that, and the other, but I need a sense of movement, because I feel like I'm, I'm caught in the same friggin' energy for quite some time. Um, you overthinking it is going to keep you there longer, just so you know. You know, I feel like it's it's just stretched out, it's just long, and that's the way it is. You know, for some reason, either you're working on a specific situation and it feels like, oh my god, I'm still working on this, come on. You know, I don't know. I don't know. For the energy attached to you, they get the Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. There's an energy coming your way that wants you back, possibly. There could be a sense of reconciliation. If not, just that energy of, I want to spend as much time as possible with Leo. But they're moving slow. They're moving slow because I feel like they're fighting with themselves on the way. So it's like, you know, it takes a while. You stop to, to do that whole thing. Hey, you, what are you doing? Well, I'm going there. Well, why would I go there? Oh, oh. Who knows? It takes a while. So, for the connection, the King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Oh, okay. There's a whole lot of love that someone is carrying. And I feel like the both of you are in this situation, but there's also a split. There's also a not together here. But at the same time, the love is there and uh, watching one another possibly is here. You keep an eye on them, they're keeping an eye on you. Anyways, let's see what the universe has. Knight of Cups, the Star, the Five of Swords. It's all very deceptive. It's shown up as being very deceptive because there is a whole lot of love that's being shared here between the two of you. They have it. You probably have it. You're not showing it because you're stuck in your head about things. But um, the desire here is for this love to come out and neither of you are letting that out. And it becomes deceptive. It becomes like, okay, so why do you have it? Why do you hold it for yourself or something like that? Because it's, it's definitely directed towards something else. It's like, no, I'm not sharing it. I'm not giving it away. But you know that the universe kind of wants it out. It's like candy for just let it out kind of thing, you know. But again, I'm not going to point any fingers because I feel like the both of you are doing that. So sabotage anyways that's what i have for you leo moving on to sagittarius Ah, Juno. She went back to sleep. She woke up, she groomed. She went back to sleep. How? Man. I am not getting any of them today. Let's see, Saggy. What's going on here? On your side, you get the Devil, the Sun, the Seven of Cups. Saggy, be very mindful of where you're looking for happiness. Because I feel like you're looking in the same places, energetically speaking. Physically, oh, you could be in China today and, you know, South America tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like it's not about what's in front of you. The energy of it feels the same. Like what you did in the past... In regards to this time, I'm going to be happy. You're kind of doing the same thing. You know? Because I see choices in front of you that are leading towards happiness. And I see you pointing out to the same energy that you did in the past that didn't necessarily brought you, bring you happiness. You know? 
So I don't know. This could be in regards to a person here. And because there's an energy attached to you here that they have the Three of Swords, the Emperor, the Ten of Cups. Now they look, they look like they're it. They look like this is it. This is my happiness. They're bringing in happiness. Yeah, for sure. But they're also bringing in their own pain to the game. So it's like... looks can be deceiving ah I, I don't know what to tell you it's it's definitely looking very promising so i get you heading in this direction but they are bringing a chunk of pain with them and if that pain is not healed and resolved on their side it's going to manifest in this situation with you and this isn't going to look anything but happy when that comes out you know because you probably have your share they have their share that put together ooh, kaboom for the connection, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, there's definitely need for self-care here. And someone is learning to do that. And through this self-care comes out a lot of pain, which that's healing. That's healing of that pain. Um, I get the sense that this is mostly for you rather than for the both of you or for them. You're trying at least to get in this place of, you know, putting yourself first and figuring things out from that perspective but at the same time i still see you going in this direction which... let's see what the universe has the three of pentacles the ten of swords the ten of pentacles it's like oh man how do I put this? Because I don't want to say something to you and you'll be like, ah, no, no, no. Um, oh, man, but it's showing up so clear. Because I have it in my head, but I'm like, I don't want to say it like that because Sag is going to be pissed off. Uh, which is not about you being pissed off or not. It's about you understanding what this is and at an energetic level it shows up as this situation is done it's like let bygones be bygones kind of thing uh so i don't want to put it like that because you're like no i won't or oh yeah you know i'm gonna listen to you no it's not about that either the energy shows up like that the energy shows up as this situation here it's an no-go it was an no-go you know so it could be something from your past that you're trying to head towards Uh, believing that it changed, that it, I, I don't know. But from the universe, it's not good news. It's showing up again. What's coming to mind is let bygones be bygones. I don't know. You do whatever you want to do with this. I'm just telling you how the energies are showing up around it. Uh, that's it. That's it, Saggy. Moving on to air signs, Libra. Oh, man. Uh, on your side, you get the Page of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Hierophant. I feel like you're doing a lot of healing, and this healing moves you in your frequency, in your vibration, in the way you show up energetically. Uh, but I feel like you're not seeing that. I feel like you're not recognizing that necessarily, and you're not realizing that there's a shift in between the energy that probably is helping you to heal and you. Um, you sure seem like you have the same energy towards the same goal but it's different it's coming in different at least to me and the way that I look at it it's like you're coming from a different vibration different energy 
I don't know, I just see a lot of healing on your side. It's still going through it. It's an ongoing kind of thing. And a deeper sense of being almost through this healing. For the energy attached to you, they get the Page of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. There's a whole lot of not moving, not moving much on their side. A little bit, yeah, from time to time. But not much movement on their side. And and probably the energy of almost like them recognizing that you're too far off. It's like I, I can't, you know... Um, they're open for friendship, but I don't see them much giving much energy to this. I don't know. For the connection, the Four of Swords, the Chariot, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this this healing right here brings up a lot of love, but I feel like, again, more for you than for them. It opens you up. Um, by the day here. They're not in your same boat of healing, though. They're kind of in a stagnant boat that doesn't work, doesn't have any engine to it, doesn't have any sailing sail to it. Nothing. 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 Not to say that, you know, it's just a different... It's like you switched frequency and it's like... I don't know what they're doing in theirs, but they're not doing anything to match yours necessarily or to, to give me a, a at least a little bit of a sign there that... They're almost stepping up to, to reach you in that energy. Not really. But they're not pulling you down. They're not doing anything like that either. There's just stagnation on their side. Let's see what the universe has. Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, The Lovers. It seems like for now, things are working out by the looks of it. Things are stable. Things are looking like... Maybe there's that acceptance. Maybe there is acceptance on your part. I, I sure see acceptance on their part. Energetic. Energetically speaking. I don't see them conscious of it. But like recognizing where you've grown. Where you are, basically. Uh, I don't know how much recognition there is on your part about where you are. Let alone them. You know? Uh, there seems to be on the surface this energy of things, you know, slowly but surely, they're starting to look like they're matching. They're going okay. I don't see that energetically, to be honest with you. I see you stepping into that belief, you know, because you're more open and you're more accepting and you're more showing up more in that. So you could be possibly perceiving this as it's going well. Maybe it is. Who knows? But that's it. That's what I got. And if that's what I got, that's what I got. And that is it, Libra. All right, moving on to Aquarius. I'm like, is that the moon? No, dumbass, it's the light in your room. You know, the moon is not the color. Oh, man. you get the ace of cups the seven of pentacles the four of cups you're not liking something here i feel like you want to start something brand new in a situation like let's start from scratch let's take this and create love and create something beautiful with this together but there's something about the situation that you're not liking maybe they're not willing to be like yeah let's go for it uh i don't know even though oh okay there's a discrepancy here in energies. You're bringing in love, they're bringing in passion, and they don't match. That's why there's a sense of, eh, something's not working out. Because you're coming from different fronts. All right. On their side, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands. But I feel like they're honest about it. I feel like, you know, at least they're trying. It's like they're telling you who they are. And... 
listening to that and running with that, that's on you. You know, that's your responsibility in the end. Because I see them quite open. They're, they seem to be a little player type, kind of. You know, you're looking for love. They're coming in with, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Because, you know, but let's play with it. Like, but again, I see that reflecting in their communication, possibly. Um, so it's, maybe you are wanting the same goals, but you're coming from very different energies, different perspectives. I don't know. So maybe that's why there's disappointment on your side, a little bit of, eh. Uh, for the connection, the hangman, the seven of cups, the six of swords. Yeah, someone's ready to bail, and I feel like this is you. There's definitely a, a sensation of things are not moving anywhere. Things are not progressing. Things are not working out. There's just blah, things up in the air. Like, there's no movement towards anywhere. Nothing. And because of that, someone is kind of starting to pull away from this. Again, kind of getting the sense that that's you. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the universe has. The Hermit, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. I, I'm telling you, the goal is the same. The goal is the same. The approach is very different. Uh, because we're different. We're going to have different experiences. Different ways of approaching things. Of feeling things. Of perceiving things. But the goal is the same where the both of you kind of want something brand new here. And it does have to do with love for the both of you. They're just coming from this place of let's play with it. Let's whatever. You know. You're coming in from pure love, definitely. So something's not matching in the way that your perceptions are about this. So that's it. Oh, no, no, no. All right, moving on to Gemini. got too many cooks in the kitchen let's see uh on your side the seven of swords the lovers the three of wands even though you're showing me just one cook you're like no you know i'm leaving a situation i'm good i'm kind of waiting for whatever i'm not waiting for someone in particular but i just left this one here maybe something's gonna show up so let me look up ahead if i see something but eh, um you know, you're kind of showing up like that. But this situation that you are showing me, your back turned to it. You got quarter of your back not turned to it. You know, you got three quarters turned there. Not fully out of this. But it's, it's a very important one. At least it was, still is, still is. Um, but you're showing me like you're on standby. You're not really, you know. Now there's an energy attached to you here that doesn't feel the same way. The a the ace the queen of swords, the four of wands, the six of wands. They want commitment. They're like, no, I want Gemini. I want commitment with Gemini here. And then there's a connection part. The king of pentacles, the king of swords, the king of wands. It's like you have a split personality of, or something. What's going on here? It's like, how many kings are you, Gemini? Um, 
I like these kings on you, but I feel like you're not attaching the, these kings. Now, it, it doesn't have to be that you have multiple people, you know, around you, like, okay, let's try this one with this one, let's try... No, it can be just where you're at, or where you're heading. Um, because you got a queen there with their eyes on you. Um, it could be just energy here that you're showing up in something very stable or very determined to create something very stable. Um, you're looking for passion. You're not looking for that match where it looks good on paper and everything's fine, everything, you know, we're so stable and grounded and everything's okay. No, you're looking for that spice. So whoever this is to you, I don't, you know, they match you in certain ways, but man, they don't carry this. And I feel like this connection that you're showing me, you know, three quarters of your back turned to it, I feel like it had all of this. So you're kind of looking for an energy that um, brought you that. I don't feel like it's the same energy though. It was the same person, I mean. It's the same energy, it's not the same person. It's like someone similar to how they made me feel. I don't know. Gemini, you scared me there for a minute. I'm like, ooh, whoa, what's going on here? How many cooks are in Gemini's kitchen? What is happening? Let's see what the universe has. Eight of cups, three of pentacles, ten of cups. You're not, I feel like someone around you does want something with you, like commitment, happiness, all of those things. They're like, let's, let's do something together. And you're not interested. You're showing me, nope. Nope. It could be a friend here with the Three of Pentacles showing up. It could be somebody you know. But man, you're showing me. Nope. Mm -mm. No desire to go there. Okay, I got it. I got it. Gotcha. Your focus is someplace else. There's a whole lot of focus on stability and growth. And again, that passion, that spark, that chemistry. It's like, where is it? Not here. Okay, bye. You know? All right, moving on to water signs, Pisces. Girl, when I get to Scorpio, you better get your ass down here. She, she's not nothing. I thought I would, you know, pull the uh, tough love on her. Not working with Scorpios, is it? Water signs are not going to be told what to do in that way. You know, <laughs> trying different tactics. You know, you wanna join me? Maybe. Oh, I love you so much, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying. Maybe she's coming over. But she's she's like no, mm, no. Well, let's see, Pisces, what's going on? It's like a soap opera I'm looking at. It's like love, passion, deception. Hmm. On your side, you get the Six of Wands, the King of Wands, the Five of Swords. It's like you're basing something off of chemistry, physical attraction. It's like, but man, there, there's so much attraction. But I feel like maybe that's all there is, or maybe there's more. And you're telling yourself, no, it's just that. It's just I, you know, there's that attraction that I feel and I can't control myself with it. And uh, there's something deceptive tied up to this energy here. So I can't tell what it is. Maybe you can because you're your own person. So you would know. But there's something you're telling yourself about the attraction you feel towards someone that comes in as being deceptive. For the energy attached to you, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, see, they're bringing in a balanced kind of energy of love and passion. You're not showing me the love. You're not. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the deception. Maybe you're feeling it, but you're kind of placing yourself in, nah, there's no love here. There's just, you know, meeting sometimes when it's getting late at night and you know 
That's it. I don't know. Uh, for the connection, the three of wands, the ten of cups, the nine of swords. Somebody's waiting for happiness here, but I feel like it's not happening. What they're getting through this waiting is a lot of pain. It could be that you're in a place of emotional unattachment to a situation here, to someone that is actually attached from their heart here. And it could be that they're waiting, you're, you know, or roles can be reversed. Because I see someone kind of trying to play, even though there are emotions there possibly. They're kind of trying to come off as, I'm just playing here. You know, I'm just here for five minutes and then I'm out. Um, and then I'm going to come back when things get spicy again or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it's a deceptive energy. That's why I'm like, I'm not believing it. I'm not. Let's see what the universe has. Yeah, someone's showing up emotionally closed off. That's what it is. The Magician, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Someone wants to come out a little more with their heart to play. But they're emotionally in this place of the Queen of Swords. And I feel like they've been there for a while. So that's why they're showing up as, I don't care. You know, let's just play. Let's just not pretend like there's no emotions in this world. Because there's no emotions for them. Because they're closed off emotionally. So I don't know who that is. It could be you. It could be them. It's very hard to tell. Because it does show up on your side. So I could point my finger at you. But I'm not going to. I'm going to let you choose. Because you know best. Um, but yeah. That's it. I love it when the universe comes in and clarifies things and it's like, hey, look in this direction. Someone's closed off. I'm like, oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Moving on to Scorpio. Juno. Not awake. So, Scorpios don't like to be handled that way. Okay, Scorpio. Juno. 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 That, that, that's probably very annoying, and not only for a Scorpio, but for any, anybody. It would be annoying for me, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's see, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. No, she's not. Man, if I see these energies one more time in your reading, I swear to God. Towers, worlds, hangmans. Oh, death is okay because that's you, but it's fine. It's not even here. But on your side, you get the Four of Wands, the Tower, the Nine of Cups. There's a commitment you've got going on, possibly, and there's an aha moment tied up to it. And the aha moment says, but I'm happy here. I'm happy, or I would be happy in this situation. I don't know, there's something about emotional balance. There's something about either wanting to achieve this emotional balance within this commitment, I don't know. But there's definitely an aha moment about it, like, huh, that's what I want from this, you know? And it has to do with emotional balance. On their side, the Knight of Swords, the strength card of the world. All right, so I don't see them putting in any effort, at least not now. They were looking like they were giving to this. They were giving, they were giving, they were giving until, boom, they stopped. But it took a lot for them to stop, but they did. So I don't know. For the connection, the hangman, the sun, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, there is this potential, or it could be that this is what you're wanting to start. Okay, let's create something brand new here for ourselves that's going to lead us to happiness or somebody, someone is really aiming for happiness here. But nobody's doing anything about it. So even though someone wants it and desires this happiness and this path towards happiness, nobody's moving a finger here to do that. Let's see what the universe has. 
Do you know final chance for Scorpio? Does emotional manipulation work? Do you know if you come uh, here for Scorpio, which is, you know, your sign, um, you get two treats tonight after the food. Yeah. She's eating, um, I've never seen cats eating like that. Kai, I thought Kai was crazy until I met her. She's like, <laughs> when food comes, she's like, she's turning into a little monster. <laughs> she's very cute though. Like, she's so tiny and, <laughs> and then she eats as if the food is gonna run away from her. From the universe, you get the sun, the six of swords, the seven of pentacles. Even though someone wants to create this happiness, I feel like they're actually walking away from creating it here. It feels like as, as, as long as things are going to be in standby here, nobody's going to do anything about this happiness. At some point, someone's going to turn their shift towards, let me create this happiness someplace else. And I kind of feel like it's the both of you, to be honest with you. You know? Because it's like, well, it's not happening here. What am I going to do? Just sit here and wait for it to happen? Not really. I don't know, Scorpio. I don't know. But you know, still not wanting to come here. I tried, you know, all sorts of tones. I think that was manipulation, you know, with the food and blackmail. The emotional blackmail. No, that didn't work. Food, blackmail, I don't know. No, she's still not moving. That's it. Moving on to Cancer. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, on your side, you get the Three of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups. Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, it's like settling. It's like settling for something. It's like waiting for someone to do something. And as soon as they do it, if it if it's a little bit, it's like, yeah, I'll take it. It feels good. But... In the overall energy of this, you're not happy about this. You're showing me I'm not happy about this. You know, I'm kind of waiting for them to text me whenever they're in the mood or for them to do whatever they want, whenever they want. And even though when it comes, you're like, yay, you know, they, they texted me or, you know, after who knows what. So in the moment, it feels like great, but then when you stand back and look at this whole situation as, you know, from the bigger picture perspective, it's like, wait a minute. No, you know, it feels like something is bugging you about this because I see you waiting and then I see you whenever you get something being like, yay, and then kind of like, no. Hmm. For the energy attached to you, the Two of Cups, the Judgment, the Knight of Wands, well, the problem here is they do have love and they do want love here. They, they really, really do. Uh, the way they're expressing it and the way they're coming at it and the way they're, you know, stepping forward to create this is very um, player-like energy. Who, who had this? Because it was recent here. Pisces had it? I don't know. It's like not committing to anything. Not showing you how they truly feel. So that's coming from a place of they need to work with that a little more. Because I do see their desire and it's beautiful. And it's probably what you want here. But they're not putting it out there for sure. For the connection, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like 
I feel like you're healing or you're trying to, you know, there's definitely a sense of, I really want to learn something out of this. I really want to get something out of this because I feel like it's not even, you know, it's not even about a connection I have with someone and they show up, I don't, my self-worth, my whatever, and then just kind of bailing and being like, yeah, whatever. I feel like, you know, there's something more important here to be learned. And it could be, it could very well be. And I feel like you're taking your time with it, but are learning several things from this situation uh including possibly your self-worth you know or stuff about your self-worth let's see what the universe has the chariot the sun the eight of pentacles I don't know. I feel like in this one, it, it almost feels like happiness is around the corner here for you. I feel like you're working towards um, something happier, something that will make you truly happy. Um, and it's probably tied up to this situation right here. And I don't know what it is. And even though I see you taking small steps, I kind of get the sense that you're getting into a place where you'll be happy out of this, whatever happens with this. You know, you'll find happiness through this somehow. So, um, but that's it. That's what I got. And that's what I got for everyone, right? Everybody's done. Everybody's done. And Juno's still not here. After trying every trick in the book that didn't work, Oscar is probably sleeping somewhere. Felix and Kai are probably sleeping, waiting for me to feed them eventually. And everybody's actually, well, not Oscar, because Oscar left me for food. But the boys and the girl want to eat, probably. Not Felix. Felix is very picky with food. He eats the raw food, but the wet food, I don't know. I'm going to try some tricks with him that I've heard could work. He's very, and I've heard a lot of the times it could be from the weather. You know, when the weather shifts. Because he eats, he has periods of time where he eats the wet food, and then all of a sudden, nothing. But he shows up at the table with everyone at the same time, like, yeah, yeah, feed me, feed me. And then he sniffs it, and then he's like, nah. With dry food all the time, he eats it. He never said no to that. But I'm going to try some things. Maybe she, maybe he just doesn't want it. And I've tried switching it, you know, a lot of the times I've tried giving him a lot of other... Nah. Nah. Anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take care of them. And um, I was kind of trying to, to buy time so that Juno maybe gets down from there, but apparently not. So that's it. You have a video of me and... Oh, she moved. Juno. Of me and me, and that's it. The boys and nobody else wants to show up, apparently. Not. Oh, she's up. Why is she up? What was that? There was a noise. You heard it too? Come on. Do you want to come here? Juno? Juno? Oh, she sat back down. She's up, but she sat back down in her little spot, and she's closing her eyes. And... Juno, I got food. I got food. Look, what do I got here? You know, food time. She doesn't know food time yet. Kai does. Man, because you would hear her go crazy. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, thanks for watching. Love you guys. And I'll go. I'll go. Because otherwise I'll be here all day trying to get Juno to, to see you guys. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.